Hey guys, I got a family hauler for us today. The 2021 Toyota Highlander, the XSC. This is the all wheel drive version. White or pearl white for that matter with red interior, the cockpit red. It finally made its way to the Highlander lineup. We've been having it on the Camry since 2018, but this is a nice car. It's a family hauler, looks really nice, aggressive. Uh, it's on Toyota's new global architecture. So the platform of the car, it's new since 2020 does give it a better ride quality it makes a difference if you drive the 19 and the 20 truly does but check out the xse model man these wheels the whole car itself it's it's neat toyota's finally keeping up with other manufacturers in regards to you know making a car that's it's bold it's uh it stands out you can truly tell the difference between this and say the xle model the wheels that's definitely what sets it apart and then there's other little touches to the car itself that are pretty neat uh, you can see it's got a blacked out pillar in the front of the blacked out side mirrors and with these xsc model you get like this right up here it's like a front lip attachment <laughs> you get the blacked out grill up front toyota safety sense 2.0 is coming with this one so it's got it's actually got a little sensor a millimeter radar grammar built inside there and you've got uh, a little camera right on top that helps you keep in inside the lane but check out these it's the whole car the setup is it's nice definitely catches attention big massive wheels back here 20 inch wheels and it's strange because they went back to this design where it's different you know it's black here and then it's got like the silver color out here it's strange it catches attention but you know some other models now have like full blacked out wheels so cool regardless <laughs> let's check inside see what you guys think it's that red interior for this this one isn't like the camrys where everything's red and by that i mean the seats it's actually got a nice it's got a nice touch to it it's black and then it's red inside so it's not a full full red It'd be a bit too much i'd say they did it right with this one it's even got the red stitching up front so that's cool for sure a lot of buttons <laughs> so about the xsc model it's not like the xle or limiteds it does not have an optional third row or pardon not third row but third seat in the second row so it's got captain's chairs back here but with these captain's chairs you can actually still pull this little guy push that forward and you do have seats back here so there it is there's a decent amount of space and i'll get to it in just a second but let's go ahead and click this as it should power lift gates and this is one of the new versions of toyota's power lift gates before they were slower and then on top of that uh they had a few little not bugs it's just if you press the button for it to go down uh you'd really have to try for it to stop <laughs> so check this out jbl premium audio so you've got a subwoofer back here the sound system is crisp it's a jbl with clarified technology it's it's good you got a couple of cup holders back here these seats there it is now the seating space isn't too bad but i'll show you guys soon again more cup holders storage space right under there and it's got like holes right back here for the cargo cover nets so on and so forth it does have a spare tire guys i will say check this out there it is So let's go ahead and close this up. Check this out. So if you want to actually set it at a certain height. There it is. So now you just set it at a certain height in case your garage is a little bit shorter or wherever you're parking it. And now you can actually just pull it and it closes the rest of it. Pretty neat. Blacked out package. So it's got blacked out Highlander, blacked out Toyota emblem, blacked out XSC all wheel drive. You've got the backup camera right back here these lights are nice led super bright 
it's pretty cool the whole two-tone thing you know it's black under and then it's got this little line going throughout the whole back it's got a little spoiler on top that's cool shark fin antenna you do have wi-fi with this car satellite radio and stuff so it's neat for sure let's zoom into the msrp sticker this was actually my general manager's uh, car so he drove it for about 5,000 miles it's a nice car <laughs> definitely a nice car so there it is check this out too it's pretty cool most of the highlanders come with this now but it's good for the kids <laughs> let's see you do have blind spot monitor which is that little sensor right there and you've got the heated side mirrors that blind spot monitor comes with rear cross traffic alert. Whenever you put the car in reverse, it'll beep too. Let you know there's someone coming. Power passenger seat. No lumbar support though. It's got a good view even from the passenger angle for sure. Let's go into the driver's side show you guys what all the buttons do all right cool stuff i will say it does have remote start so you when you're outside you lock the car once wait about 15 20 seconds then you click one two three on the third time you hold it it remote starts it also has remote start from your smartwatch or from your phone itself really cool let's go ahead and turn this on press the brake power button big gauges right in front of your face no digital gauges it's straightforward let's see you've got different driving modes which i'll show you guys the buttons for click down here ah all the driving support this does have lane departure alert steering assist it's got a couple of different uh things you can choose from your music this is information on the car itself tire pressure the all-wheel drive system the toyota safety sense status because it has pre-collision system that's that big camera right up there blind spot monitor the rear cross traffic alert i was mentioning and let's go down here to set up that's for your lane departure alert the pre-collision if you wanted to turn that on or off blind spot rear cross traffic that's a road sign assist so it tells you when there's a yield sign one way a stop sign different vehicle details up here so if you want to change the kilometers per hour instead this is your warning sign warning spot so in case anyone doesn't it isn't buckled or a little tire that's uh running low that's where that's where it will be and it'll pop up on the front of the screen anyways digital speed i've had a lot of customers ask me how they can do that in case they don't want to just look over there <laughs> fuel economy is okay in something like this guys um, you will be getting about 22 23 miles per gallon 26 on the highway about 19 in the city 20 and i'm being conservative with the numbers Toyota is usually conservative with their numbers as it, as it is as well you've got your lights auto fog lights are right here you've got different little buttons here that's for your auto high beams that's for your power lift gates if you ever wanted to change the odometer the trip and then the lights in the background if you wanted to have a more brightness less brightness fog lights cruise control is right here in case you want to turn that on this is dynamic radar cruise control so you turn this on you click set and uh, you can actually put it to how, how fast you want it to go click this little button here it is how much spaces you want between you and the car in front of you one two three second intervals lane departure alert for your media the touch screen is pretty nice let's go ahead and go back up here so you guys don't have a glare navigation I'll tell you guys what let's move this car just a little bit to the side so you guys don't get that glare there it is. 
cool stuff. I hope I fixed it. <laughs> you've got different buttons here. You've got your heated seats. This is a all for your AC, so you can actually turn it off if you want to turn it back on. Got these little buttons here. You have dual climate control, so this side can be one temperature and this side is another. All you would have to do is click the sync button and it goes to where the other settings are at on, on this side. There it is. Sync. Cool stuff. This tray has come a long way. Uh, since the previous Highlander model, you can run your cables all through here. So you've got two different uh, charging ports. These are fast charging. This is just a sync for your Apple CarPlay and your Android Auto. You do have to have it tethered. So you run your cables up through here and you can set your phone right on top. It's pretty neat. You've got manual transmission mode. No paddle shifters, even though it's the XSC model. It is a Highlander at the end of the day. You've got drift and driving modes. You've got sports, normal, eco. So if we click it in sport, it actually tells you right up there, sports, eco. And then if you want to click normal, there it is. Eco, normal, sports. Pretty easy. Shifts a little bit uh, at a higher RPM. It does feel faster. Eco gives you less throttle response, less AC makes a bit of a difference but you've got since this is an all-wheel drive you've got different driving terrains mud and sand rock and dirt you can push it for normal you've got the traction control off pretty self-explanatory with the snow button if you ever hit snow <laughs> downhill assist so whenever you're going downhill instead of increasing your speed you click this button and it tries to keep you at the same speed this is something a lot of customers ask me about because this car once you come up to a stop the engine sometimes shuts off Whereas if you click this, the engine won't shut off. So that's the auto start. Parking brake automatically turns on. You can put it in drive, automatically turns off. Turns on. Brake hold, it's a nice feature. Whenever you had a stoplight or something, you it holds onto the brake, you don't have to do it. It's pretty cool. Now, in here is where, where it's pretty nice because you've got Qi wireless charging. So make sure the green button is on. Set your phone right on top. There it is. So it starts charging for you. Cool. <laughs> and you can move this out of the way. You got a little bit more storage space. Another outlet back there. So cool stuff, right? JBL Premium Audio. You've got the subwoofer over on the side and the back. You've got the tweeters up front, uh, speakers up front as well. Uh, it does have uh, about 11 speakers. I'll double check. But you've got a couple of other things up here. Auto dimming rear view mirror, garage door opener right down here. SOS, in case of an emergency, you click that little button, dispatches an officer to you. If you don't answer, you say cancel, or you can talk to one of the Toyota customer reps. It's, Ill I'm a little sad they didn't come up with the panoramic roof, but that's a different story. So go ahead and close that. up tilts so on and so forth let's go ahead and close this up for your lights and in, in the car itself so this is on this side no led lights huh <laughs> turns on all the lights there it is holder for your glasses and then cool so check this out you can move it up not all the way and voila you can talk to your kids and you don't have to look back that's cool so get out of here all the settings for the temperature are back here so they can control it as well decent space my seat was all the way back three inches four inches of space three inches I'm five foot nine so it's okay let's go sit in the back lights vents all right so again do this do this top in all right well not ideal should have moved the seat forward a little bit there is space if you wanted to move these seats forward a tad bit but 
not adult friendly, needless to say. It's pretty cool that it doesn't have this carpet back here. It's actually like a liner, built-in liner. Cool, child anchor seats. It's the small things that matter. <laughs> Us Americans love our drinks. All right. There it is, guys. Just wanted to quickly do a video so you guys know exactly what this car is. The buttons, the features, what you can expect from it. It is relatively powerful. I mean, it's got almost 300 horsepower. It's an HP transmission. The HP transmission, it's, it's good. It derives directly from Lexus. Shifts really well. It tows up to 5,000 pounds when, you, when it comes with a tow package. But... Uh, it's a nice family hauler at the end of the day. Catches attention. Toyota's just, you know, wanting to make this for a, a specific um, person that, you know, of course doesn't want to compromise on driving a nice car, but has a family. So, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. It helped you at least in a tad bit. It was a quick review, short on time. But if you guys have any questions, of course, drop them below. Comments. I'm wanting to get to a thousand subscribers, so if you can please help. At the moment of doing this video, I'm at about 800 or so. So, yeah, guys. Thanks for watching. Later.